Telerik's Just Trace is two profilers in one, and in this short video, I'll be demonstrating the performance profiler. I have a Visual Studio 2013 open, and I have a Windows Form application loaded. To, perform, to do performance profiling on this application, I simply go up to the Just Trace toolbar, and I select Performance Profiler. That enables a few other options for me. I have some filtering options. I have the ability to show transitions between managed and unmanaged code. I have the ability to show source level timings for my code. And again, this is not an when this is not a web application, but if it were, I would also have the ability to restart IIS before launching my application, or to profile servlight applications. Once I've selected performance profiler, I simply start the application. And just trace immediately begins capturing performance data for my application. Once I have some data for my application, I can drill further down into that information to get more useful data. I can do this by using the timeline control, which is about in the middle of your screen. I simply click in the timeline and I drag across the amount of time I would like to see. What Just Trace does is it presents me with a snapshot view of my application. I can see all the various threads, how long they're taking. I can see where my hotspots might be. I have the ability to see the actual code that Just Trace is concerned about. I can also look at the information by method, again showing me hotspots and time by namespace. I can drill down into that. I also have the ability to see hotspots in my code that Just Trace has identified and wherever any potential bottlenecks might be. If I want to compare two different slices of information, I can again use a timeline control, click the Compare Snapshots button, and this gives me the ability to select a second snapshot. Just Trace will analyze both snapshots and show you the differences between the two periods of time. When I'm done profiling my application, I can either close the application or I can hit the Kill Profile button in the Just Trace user interface.